friends, it's Tina the Scrap and Rabbit, and I have a fun share for you guys today. I got a new toy for Christmas, and it is this purple Kodak Mini 2 Instant Photo Printer. And the whole reason why I wanted to this was so that I could print pictures for my planner. And so let me show you what it looks like. So hubby got me a really cute little case, and of course it's purple. And I keep it in here, and it's really a cute little size and portable, and it's purple, and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I could see lots of fingerprints on there. So this case is pretty handy, and you just charge it on your computer. It comes with this little uh, USB cord, <clears throat> and it is so much fun and so easy to use. I just thought I'd go ahead and share this with you in case you were looking for something similar. This one, uh, when I was doing my research for these, when I first started looking into it, this was the one that I found printed the best photos. Now you can't expect for them to be perfect because it's a little teeny tiny printer and I wasn't looking for perfect pictures. So if you're looking for perfect pictures, I don't think that they've gotten there yet with that. But in terms of uh, clarity, <clears throat> this one definitely had the best reviews. So you get these little cartridges. And so it comes in a box like this and it's called the all-in-one mini cartridge. And each one of these packages has 10 photos in it. So you get a box of five of them. And so the way that it works is it has paper and ink all in these little cartridges. <clears throat> And it's so easy to use. I've already gone through two of these. So now just as a, uh, to share my experience with you, when you get the printer, Maui, that's Maui saying hello. When you get the printer, you get uh, papers inside. And for me, I was able to print nine pictures with what came inside. I read that some people get eight, some people get 10. So I don't know. It's, I guess it's variable what you get when you uh, get the printer. But the ones that I printed initially were not the sticker paper. I tried and I, I ruined a few of my pictures trying to get it to be stickers, but they just weren't. But these are all sticker paper. So let me show you so easy to use you just open the little thing up and you'll see a little picture there with the finger telling you to push in and so that's where this goes in and you slide it in there oops and then you just push where it says push here and close it on up and then you turn it on and you turn it on. <laughs> you gotta push a little bit harder than I just did. And then you'll see a little light go on. And you'll hear it start making some noise. Now there's an app that you download at the App Store. And I already did that. Before you open the app, you wanna make sure that your Bluetooth is connected. And so you go to your settings and then you'll see it says Kodak Mini. And then you wanna hit connect. You click on it and then it should connect. And it says connected. And so now you can go to your app, and the app looks like this. It says Mini Shot on there. And when you open up the app, this is what it looks like. And so you can take a picture right then and there. You can go to your photo gallery. Uh, you can connect to Instagram or Facebook. And I haven't tried playing with that yet. I've just gone to the gallery and printed off of my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my photo gallery and then it'll show everything in folders and I'm gonna to go to my camera roll and I'm gonna go ahead and click on a photo that we took for New Year's Eve. We did a New Year's Eve selfie. Then it gives you the option to edit it and so what's in the red lines is what is going to be printed and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on edit and it, it, you can play with it as far as how much you want and you can even do a white edge and so there is a setting back here that if you go to print mode it automatically does that for you it does an even white edge and so that's how it will look on the little strips of paper <clears throat> and so I'm gonna go ahead and go back because I want to do the uh, 
edit myself here. And so I'm going to zoom in and get as big of a picture without cutting anybody's face off. So then that is right there within the lines like that. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and select on here. I'm hoping that you guys can see that. It says print connected. So if I click on that, it's gonna start communicating with the little printer. And you can see my light there. Let's see if that helps with the glare. And is it communicating? It is. The little light's flashing, so it takes a few seconds here. And then it'll go ahead and start to communicate and start printing the picture. And it says printing one out of one. And now it's making some noise. And then the first time it comes out, you won't see anything on there. Then it starts laying down the color and it tells you right there, yellow color. And so then you're going to see yellow. And then it'll start printing the magenta layer. And I think it's just so cute how it does that. Got a little cat hair there on my phone. And then finally it adds like a waterproof coating on there, which I think is super cool. And then you pull it out and it's good to go. And so I think it does a really good job for this type of a thing. And then what I did notice is that if you edit the photos on your phone first, they're not as clear as if you just print them right off. So here are some of the photos that I took. And these were the ones that were not sticker paper. And what I mean by that is you just can peel and you can peel and you can peel and it's just not sticker paper. But when it is sticker paper, it's sticker paper. You can tell it peels off nice and easy. So this one is one from Christmas or from New Year's and it is clearly sticker paper and it peels off easily. These on the other hand were not and those are the ones that came with my printer. So these are some of the shots that I got and I think that they turned out so cute. And as you can see the ones that are from night are a little bit the darker ones that don't have as crisp of an image don't print crisp but the ones that are in the light image print pretty clear. So I think that it did a really good job for a cute little printer. Those are my little buddies. And these are perfect for using in my planner. So let me go ahead and share with you how I use them. So this is my 2019 planner and I'm really, really excited to use it. My goal is to get a month ahead of everything this year so that I'm just not scrambling and always working on playing catch up. So this planner I got at Michael's. It is a Me and My Big Ideas Happy Classic Planner. I also have this little cute little unicorn that I found <laughs> that I just thought was cute because it uh, matches my planner. And then this lovely beaded charm is made by my friend Terry and she gifted this to me a while back at one of the meetups that I went to and I just love it, it's just beautiful. And it also coordinates, so I thought that I would have that hanging there. This is a little mermaid that I crafted a while back and I actually gifted a bunch of these out to my friends. And so for my January, this is how I used the little printer. And basically, I like this monthly as kind of like my hanging wall calendar. It just kind of shows me everything in advance that I need to be thinking about. And I went ahead and put a little sticker there of hubby and me. And this is how this first layout, kind of no, no focus on this one, just kind of playing with it, getting an idea of how I wanted to start planning. And I just started adding a few stickers. 
stop wishing and start doing start doing things you love live life happy and just kind of pot keeping it positive and found a cute little stickers that I just was playing with and then for my first week here I have the sticker that I just printed out well, as long as one with my pups and just started working out what I needed to do and I'm getting ready to fill this out and for next week since we're going to visit my in-laws in Arizona I have this blank because I wanted to actually take some nice little pictures with my in-laws and put those all around there and I think that that's going to be a lot of fun so so far two weeks in that's what I've got going and this is a share to show you what you can do with this little printer I think it makes a huge difference I'm gonna go mostly stickers this year just so that I can have fun and the most fun about planning for me this year is that I got my daughter a planner and she's excited about it and she's using up the stickers and it's something that we can do together so trying to stay organized keep my life organized and having this little printer is definitely a plus and adds more family moments and memories to my planner and keeps it nice and fun for me so there it is if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment below and I will get back with you as soon as I can I hope you guys have a happy happy uh, new year with many blessings for 2019 bye for now